Hey guys, welcome to another retro tutorial. Today we're checking out Super FDisk, a much faster and easier way to partition and format your old hard drives. Now just before recording this video, I had a go at doing it the traditional way, running FDisk of a boot floppy or a uh, bootable CD. And you run FDisk and then you create a new partition. It goes through uh, various integrity checks. Then you've got to reboot your machine and format the partition. And this takes a really long time. How long? We're talking 56 minutes, almost an hour. So Super FDisk does this a lot faster. I'm just gonna press F10. We're gonna reboot the machine. We will uh, look at links later where you can download the software and how to create the bootable media. But I'm just gonna show you how much faster Super FDisk actually is. So I've made myself a boot disk. This is the Super FDisk boot disk. You can also make yourself a boot floppy disk. This is what the software looks like. We have mouse control, but even without the mouse, you can just use a keyboard. You need to press F10 to toggle the menus up the top. So here we can see the hard drive. There are our 120 uh, gigabytes. The reason it's not 120,000 has to do with the way uh, kilos are counted uh, with computers compared to a weight, for example. Yeah, so a kilo is a uh, 1024, not a thousand, but that's not part of this video. So let's say we want to create a new partition. Go partition, click up here, create. Um, it takes the entire size, give it a name, retro PC, press OK, and off it goes. It's not only partitioning the hard drive, but it's also formatting it. So that's it. We're done, ready to go. So we can now reboot the machine with a Windows 98 uh, installation CD and install Windows. So here we're just booting off a Windows 98 boot disk. I just want to show you that the hard drive is formatted and ready to go. We can see here the full capacity and there's the drive name Retro PC. So that took less than a minute. So now we're going to have a look at where can you get this software and how do you make your bootable media. So I got it from the Major Geeks website, but I've since uploaded it to our website as well. I will put the links down below in the description. The software is freeware, so you can use it freely and also distribute it um, as long as it's for personal use, which is pretty much what we are all doing. This is the uh, company. I had a look on the website. They don't have the uh, Super F disk on their own website anymore, but seeing that it's free, where so feel free to upload it to your website and share the love. You just have to download the file. It's a zip file and inside you find a setup file. Just double click on that and it will install itself onto your computer. Once the software is installed, you should find it here under PTDD Super FDisk 1.0. There's a readme file here, instruction guide, but we're interested in this option here, create bootable disks. So you've got some options here. Let's say wanna, you want to create a floppy disk. We're just going to go next. I've got connected to the computer a USB floppy drive and yep, it just creates a bootable floppy disk. Now, if you prefer working with a bootable CD, you just select this option, click on next, and then on this option here, browse bootable ISO file, and it will take you to a subdirectory of the installation folder. And there's your ISO image. Just burn that to a uh, CDR, and you can boot from that CD. Now, once you've written your boot floppy or burnt your boot CD, you can actually just extract uh, or copy these files onto whatever media you wish. So you can uh, boot uh, from a Windows 98 uh, SE disk, for example, and then just swap out the floppy and uh, run Super F disk from here. Now, Super F disk can, of course, also delete partitions. You just uh, right click delete. You can format partitions. You can run a surface test. Let's have a look if there are any other interesting options. You can hide partitions, check the properties. Uh, it's all good here without any errors. Let's have a look what's going in here. We can erase the master boot record, back up the partition table. So it has a few extra options. Very interesting is this one here where you can uh, pull up the hard disk uh, parameters. And there's also some help here. Let's have a look at that quickly. So lots of information 
that you can read up on. So, so there you have it guys, instead of having to wait almost an hour for FDisk and format uh, to partition format a large 120 gig hard drive, uh, Super FDisk does it within a minute. So what a difference. It's also user friendly with the mouse input, a nice visual interface, and it reports the sizes correctly. For example, the FDisk and format tools, they can display the correct capacities up to around 60 gigabytes. Uh, beyond that, they misreport the size. It will still work, it's just a cosmetic issue, but I, I do know that this throws off a lot of people that are not used to working with old computers. And that's really it for this video, guys. Now, what other options are there? For example, uh, FreeDOS, um, that version of FDisk is also very powerful and a lot faster. Um, let me know what tools do you use. Um, have you used Super FDisk before and are you going to use it? Are you going to check it out? Do let us know down below in the comment section. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I shall see you soon with another one.